Hey guys, what's up, Majestic Gaming here, and EA's E3 2018 press conference is now over, so I wanted to give my thoughts about what I saw, and just kind of some speculation for the future. So starting with Battlefield 5, we obviously got another look at Battlefield 5, and we saw one of the war stories, but we did know that one of them will get revealed tomorrow at the Xbox com press conference, so that's good to know. We also got a look at some of the multiplayer for Battlefield 5, it showed just some of the destruction elements, customization looks kind of cool, they did confirm again that there are no loot boxes or season pass, so that's good, and probably is coming to a surprise to no one, we did get the announcement that a battle royale mode will be coming to Battlefield 5 called Grand Operations I believe and we did get a trailer the music really stood out to me I thought it looked cool the dogfights also stood out and that's about all obviously no one's really surprised that we are getting a battle royale mode in Battlefield 5 with its popularity lately, everyone saw this coming, so it's not really a surprise, but I am interested to see some more actual gameplay from it, besides just the trailer. Overall, though, Battlefield 5, I do think looks great. Next, FIFA 19. It looks like FIFA, not much to say. I really don't have anything, I don't have any cares given to FIFA. It just looks like FIFA, and there's really not much to say. They also announced a new subscription service for PC, I believe, which seems pretty cool. They announced that Madden is going to be on PC again, which a lot of people were really excited about. Then they brought up Respawn Star Wars game, which if you don't know Respawn, they are the developers of the Titanfall series. Titanfall 2 is a fantastic game, and we did the announcement that their current Star Wars game they are working on is called Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And basically, the developer was just up there, he didn't really say too much because it's not going to have a release date until holiday of 2019. Basically, all he said is that you'll be able to hold a lightsaber, you'll be playing as a Jedi, it takes place in the dark time when the Jedi, Jedi are being hunted, and it's going to take place between Episodes 3 and Episode 4. So that's cool, I'm definitely really excited to see more from that at next E3, I'm just really excited that we hope will hopefully be getting another Star Wars game that's just not Battlefront in this current generation. I'm really excited about that. Speaking of Battlefront 2 though, they mentioned some stuff about the solo content. They introduced a new squad system that they say is going to be coming. Should have been there at launch, whatever. It is coming now. And they are going to be introducing new Clone Wars content. So they're going to be adding Obi-Wan and General Grievous in addition to Count Dooku and Anakin. That's really cool. I stopped playing Battlefront 2 after all the controversy stuff and I just didn't think it was that fun. But this is cool for the people that really love the Clone Wars and are still playing Battlefront 2 to this day. That's really cool for them. Next, announcement that I was really looking forward to that actually ended up being true was Unravel 2. So I played a little bit of the first Unravel and really enjoyed it. It sort of focused on co-op this new one and there will always be two characters on the screen at one time. I think it's a cool direction to take the series. Uh, you can also pick up the other character if you're playing as Yarny. You can pick up the other Yarny. I think that's really cool. And something to my surprise, the game is actually out right now and you can actually play it. So that's really cool. Unravel, I really enjoyed. I think it's cool that they're making a sequel. The developers seem really genuine and they seem to have a lot of passion put into their game. So I think that's really cool and if you were definitely into the first Unravel, you're probably already downloading this on your console or PC or whatever right now, so that's really cool. Another EA original they showed kind of like a way out is called Sea of Solitude. It visually looks really cool. We didn't get too much other information besides that just it looks like it looks really visually cool. I'm really excited about that, and we know that's coming early 2019. Next, NBA Live 19. Don't care. Same with Madden 19. It's just looks like Madden, not too much anything different. And then we got this really weird, like, Command and Conquer, which is apparently a mobile game now being shown with, like, a commentator, and it was just awful. You couldn't tell what was happening. It was really boring. It was just a huge waste of time, and it was just really weird that they shoved that right in the middle of their press conference, especially when it was right before Anthem, which everyone was really waiting to get to. And we did actually get the some Anthem reveals. So, starting with Anthem, we got a cinematic trailer, which visually looked great. The story from the trailer seemed pretty generic. The action, though, looked cool. And it showed some other stuff with four players, which really makes me think that that's going to be a big focus of the game, the kind of four-player co-op. It mentions some aspects like the open world where other players can play with you. They say it's a shared world, so everyone playing the game at the same time is seeing the same thing, and that each individual story will kind of live in certain parts of the world. They also bring up adding more story to the game four years to come after the game is released, and they also kind of go into detail about the world and sort of the history behind it. You play as like this freelancer who's trained to use these suits, and you're stopping people who apparently want to weaponize these suits, and there are four suits, which are the Ranger, the Colossus, the Interceptor, and the Storm, and they each have personal, like, different abilities. For example, they showed us the Ranger, which is designed for uh, up close and personal combat. I think that's really cool. And they also bring up customization, which also looks really, really interesting and actually surprisingly in-depth. They also confirm no loot boxes and no paying for in-game advantages, which is all really nice because obviously with EA we have those concerns, but it's good to actually have confirmation that those won't be in the game. And finally, they did show us some gameplay of a mission, which also looked really cool and I'm just really interested to see more from the game. Just kind of some more like straight up gameplay, some more multiplayer stuff overall. And we did finally get a release date of February 22nd for 2019. Overall, that was EA's conference. It was fine, like EA's always is. It wasn't super interesting. The cool things for me were really just Battlefield 5, Unravel 2, Star Wars, and Anthem. So let me know what you guys thought about EA's conference at this year's E3 in the comments down below. And thank you guys for watching Majestic Gaming.